Rackle is deeply in love with her charming and mysterious neighbor, Ares. The thing is that he has seen her from a distance and did not exchange a single word. But Rackle has a very clear mission, to make Ares fall in love with her, spending nights together. However, she is not an innocent, helpless girl and she is certainly not willing to lose everything to achieve her goal. Is Rackle just in love with Ares' body? Because in the story, Rackle does some such actions which cannot be called love at all. At the beginning of the story, we see the most beautiful girl in the world. Her name is Rackle. Today, Rackle has come to a writing workshop. She has a lot of interest in writing. But she doesn't show her writing to anyone because she feels that she is the worst writer in the world. She lives in a small house in whose neighborhood a millionaire family lives. The name of his company is Alpha 3, and the company is named after his three sons. These names are Artemis, Apollo, and Ares. Rickle likes Ares very much. Her laptop is full of photos of Ares. She writes about Ares. She knows everything about Ares, and she even calls him a Greek god. One day, Rackle's Wi-Fi isn't working, so she looks out the window. So their Ares' younger brother, Apollo, was using his Wi-Fi. He says that Ares has given me the Wi-Fi password. Here, Rackle learns that Ares has hacked her Wi-Fi. At night, Ares is playing very loud music on his laptop. Then Rackle asks from her window, are you the one using my Wi-Fi? Ares says, yes, I am doing it. If you have courage, then stop me. The next day, Rackle goes to school, and there she is with her best friend, Yoshi. Yoshi loves Rackle very much, but Rackle only considers him her friend. At night, Rackle is waiting for Ares on the road. Ares is going alone towards the forest. Rackle follows him and asks him, what are you doing here? Ares says, I came here to smoke. After talking for a while, Ares tells her that I know you like me a lot and you want to sleep with me. I hacked your laptop for Wi-Fi, which has many of my photos, and you also write many romantic things about me. Rickle says, yes, I like you, and you will not find a more interesting girl than me anywhere. She says, I want you to love me too, kiss me. Hearing this, Ares says that you are not my type of girl. Rickle ignores this and says that I am scared, drop me home. Ares says, okay, but in exchange, you will let me kiss wherever I want on your body. Then he comes very close to Raquel. And when they are about to kiss, Ares stops her, doesn't kiss her, and drops her home. Rickle is watching Ares at Insta Story. Then his mom says that Ares is very cute. On this, Rackle says that she is from Hidalgo family and we are very different from each other. Then Rackle goes to her room and removes the Wi Fi wire. In such a situation, Ares comes into his window house and comes very close to Raquel and starts kissing her thighs. In such a situation, Rickle also becomes very excited. But Ares suddenly disappears and goes back through the window. Rickle works a part-time job. The next day when she is at her job, Ares also comes there. And there he also meets Yoshi. Ares says that my brother has organized a party and you are also invited there. Rickle goes there at night with her friend Daniela. Here she goes to Ares and starts kissing him. After this, Rickle comes back to the party and starts talking to Apollo. He gives Apollo a drink, which is quite intoxicating. In such a situation, when Rackle and Daniela were going to drop her home, Apollo breaks Rackle's phone. An upset Rackle then takes Apollo to her own home and he sleeps there. After some time, Ares also comes there through the window. Now Rackle has only one bed in her bedroom, so she lies down between Ares and Apollo. Ares was touching Rackle and Rackle was feeling very good. The next day, Rackle receives a gift from Ares. Actually, Ares has sent a new phone to Rackle because her phone was broken yesterday because of her brother. But Rackle doesn't want to take it, so she goes to his house to give it back. Ares asks him, can I kiss you? On hearing this, Rakel starts kissing him vigorously, and here both get swept up in each other's emotions and become intimate. Actually, today, Rakel had sex for the first time. After this, Ares starts playing the game, which Rakel finds quite strange. In such a situation, Rakel gets angry and leaves from there. Because he was ignoring Rakel after sex, Ares considered her just an object that could be used and thrown away. The next day, Rakel goes to Ares' house again because her pendant was left in his house. Ares was having fun with his friends. Ares then brings Rackle to his room and makes her wear the pendant. And then both of them become intimate. After getting intimate, Ares is looking at Rackle with strange eyes. And then he gets upset and goes away from there. Then when Rackle wakes up, she finds herself alone. He doesn't like Ares leaving without informing him like this. She thinks Ares only cares about my beautiful body, he doesn't love me. Then at night, Ares messages Rackle and says that I don't like you because I have feelings because of you. After this, we see that Rackle is drunk and she's going somewhere alone. Then Ares brings him home. He tells Rackle his sad story. He says that when I was young, I used to think that my parents were the best couple in this world. But then I saw my mom sleeping with another man. I was crying after seeing this. Then my dad told me that all this is normal for our family. Apart from your mother, I have also slept with many girls. All this is a matter of emotions because emotions make a person weak. Hearing all this, Rackle asks him if he has ever loved anyone. 
Ares says yes it did. Actually he was talking about Rockle only. Next day we see Ares' dad telling him to concentrate on his business studies, he has to go to Stanford. And then you may romance with a thousand girls, but forget Rico. Because love will weaken you, that girl will ruin you. Hearing all this, Ares becomes very sad. Ares then meets Rakel again and apologizes to her. He says, I apologize to you for the intimacy we got. Before leaving, Ares invites Rakel to a party one last time. There we see Rakel with Yoshi. Yoshi tells Rakel that Ares hurts you every time. If this happens this time, I will not be able to live with you as a friend, because I love you. The next day, Ares goes to Rakel's house and dresses up as a Greek god to impress her, which Rakel really likes. Ares then changes his plans to go to the party and takes Rakel to the rooftop of his office. Here Ares tells Rakel that you write very well, why don't you show it to someone else? Share your talent with the world. After this, both of them go to different places on the terrace and make love in different positions. Their video is recorded by CCTV. Ares' dad sees this video and he gets very angry at Ares. Ares tells me not to go to Stanford. But dad says you have to go, you should respect my wealth, you should respect that you are getting all this for free. In such a situation, Ares angrily leaves his dad's house and goes to where Rakel works. He tells Rakel that he also wants to do the same job. And with this money I will complete my medical studies. The next day, when Ares' brother Artemis is getting intimate with his girlfriend Claudia, he finds Ares' work uniform. Seeing all this, he becomes very angry. The next night, Rakel's mom tells Rakel that she's going out on a catering job, so she will be back late. Rakel says that I am also going on a date, and there I am going to have a lot of fun with Ares. Ares has invited Rakel to his family party. Here Artemis deliberately calls Rakel's mom and orders a drink for Rakel. Seeing all this, Rakel becomes very sad and leaves from there. Then we come to know that this was all Artemis' conspiracy, she wanted to show Rakel her status in this way. Rakel comes home and cries a lot. The next day when Rakel and Ares are at work, Ares tries to talk to her. But Rakel starts ignoring him. After coming home, Rakel hugs her mom and cries a lot. She says that I love Ares very much but I can't live with him because he is very rich. Here Rakel's mom explains to her not to be so timid if you love her then talk to her. Following her mom's advice, Rakel goes to meet Ares in his house. But Artemis and Claudia do not let him inside the house. And when Rakel messages him, Ares' dad doesn't let him read Rakel's messages. After a while, we see Ares running away to meet Raquel. Ares meets Yoshi, who says, How many times will you break Raquel's heart? It might be just a game for you, but not for Raquel. Ares tells him that if you are angry with me, then hit me, but tell me where is Raquel. Upon hearing this, Yoshi beats him severely and throws him into the swimming pool. Then Yoshi meets Raquel and tells her that Ares and I had a fight, and I threw him in the pool. Terrified, Raquel quickly runs to the pool and takes Ares to the hospital. Ares is unconscious and everyone is very worried. Rekel doesn't leave Ares alone even for a moment. After this accident, the Hidalgo family also agrees. And they send Ares to Stockholm to study medicine, which he always wanted. As he leaves, he tells Rekel that he deliberately sabotaged his Wi-Fi so he could get closer to Rekel. Then they both kiss, and then Ares leaves. We then see Rekel telling her story in a writing workshop, which she has never done before. A few days later, when Rekel is alone at home, Ares messages her and starts provoking her into love. But then she sees Ares sitting at her window, then both of them start romancing each other. Ares then moves to Stockholm to complete his medical studies. But despite living so far away, Ares and Rakel romance each other a lot on the phone. Both of them were about 13,000 kilometers away from each other, but still they were close to each other. Because they always felt as if they were romancing each other. Both of them would listen to romantic songs together, and then talk for hours on video calls. But Ares was missing Raquel a lot. Ares who once wanted to study medicine, but now he was not interested in it at all. That is why he gets dispersed. Then one day, Ares records a voice note to send to Raquel, I always wanted to spend the nights with you, but I still don't know why I came here. But Ares does not send this recording. Raquel's teacher is very angry at her. She says that you were not paying attention to your studies at all, you were busy on your phone the whole day. But despite this, he likes Raquel's novel through my window very much. That's why she gives Raquel a publisher's number and asks her to send him her story. Along with this, she says that you should keep your phone switched off while meeting the publisher. After this, Rocco meets her friend Daniela. A classmate of Rocco was lying there, whose name is Gregory. He asked Rocco about her holidays so they can enjoy them with Rocco. Rachel tells her, I'm going to stay at home with my mom for the holidays. While leaving from there, Gregory says that if your plan changes, then please let me know. After she leaves, Daniela tells Rocco that you have spent the whole year on the phone with Ares, you are wasting your youth. After all, Gregory is only asking you to go to the party, and your relationship will not break once you go to the party. 
Hearing this, Rickle starts going to Gregory to say yes to him. But then Ares arrives there to surprise him. As soon as she sees Ares, Rickle kisses him. Then Ares comes to his beach house with Rickle. Both of them enjoy a lot here. Then they hear voices from inside the house. When Ares looks inside the house, his brother Artemis is there. Ares is quite surprised to see his brother there. Just then, Daniela also comes there with her boyfriends Apollo and Yoshi. Actually, Artemis was here with her maid Claudia, who was her girlfriend. But he kept this relationship hidden from everyone. Now here we have a lot of fun with Rachel Ares, with Daniela Aholo, and with Artemis Claudia. The only one left was Yoshi, who was unfortunately enjoying himself. While Claudia was fighting with Artemis because it had been a long time since their relationship, yet Artemis had kept her relationship hidden from her family. Just then Apollo comes there. He is shocked to see the maid in his brother's room. Claudia tells him that she came to clean the room. Then Apollo sees his brother hiding under the bed, but he doesn't say anything to him. Apollo leaves with a packet of protection from Claudia. As soon as Apollo leaves, Claudia starts fighting with Artemis again. She says, if you can't keep our relationship in front of everyone, then I will leave from here. In such a situation, Artemis stops him and says, wait, I will tell everyone about our relationship. Actually, Artemis is afraid of her nasty father because she knows that he will never accept her love. Then when everyone is sitting together, Claudia tells everyone that Artemis wants to tell you something. Then Artemis was about to gather courage and tell about her relationship when her parents come there seeing whom Artemis becomes silent. Artemis' dad sees Claudia there and asks her to make drinks for everyone. In such a situation, Claudia quietly goes to make a drink and Artemis is unable to do anything even if she wants to. Then at night, Rachel tries to send her novel to the publisher, but due to nervousness, she is unable to do so. Then Yoshi standing there messages her and says that you should send this novel because it is very good. I read this novel the day you sent it to me it is very good. In response, Rachel tells him that even Ares hasn't read it yet. Then when she looks towards Yoshi, Yoshi is not there. Then she sees that Yoshi is lying next to her. Yoshi tells her that boyfriends come and go, but friends stay together for life. The next morning, Rachel was riding a bike with Ares. Then she goes to a restaurant to drink water. Rachel sees that Gregory also works at the same restaurant. Actually, this restaurant belonged to his parents. Seeing Raquel, Gregory says that you were going to spend the holidays with your mother. Rachel says, I have only come out of the house this weekend. Then Ares also comes here. Actually, both Ares and Gregory are childhood friends. Gregory introduces Ares to Raquel, because Gregory did not know that Raquel was Ares' girlfriend. After Raquel walks out, Gregory tells Ares that I am desperate to be in love with Raquel. I truly love her. But you always go after the girl I want. On this, Ares says that my friend after today, I will never come between you two. This is my promise. After this, both of them leave for a sea voyage with everyone in their private yacht. Then, under the pretext of swimming near the rocks, Ares takes Raquel with him, and there the two have a romantic relationship. Just then, Vera, a friend of Ares' college, also arrives there. Seeing him, Ares goes to meet him with Raquel. While hugging Raquel, Vera says that Ares always prays you. Then in the evening, when they are having dinner, she tells that Raquel has written a novel. Ares is quite surprised to hear this. He asks Raquel, why didn't you tell me about this? In such a situation, Rackle gets up from there without saying anything and sits behind the yacht. Then in a bathroom there, Gregory's sister Anna saves Yoshi from some goons. In such a situation, Yoshi thanks Anna. Here at the party, Daniela starts instigating Raquel against Vera. She says Vera has slept with Ares many times. To this, Raquel says that both of them are good friends and Vera is a good girl. Then Daniela sends a photo of Vera to Raquel's phone in which Vera was wearing an Ares shirt. Then the next morning, Rackle sees that Ares is still wearing the same shirt, and he is with Vera. Coming to the shore, Rekel asks Ares to swim with her. But due to feeling sleepy, Ares says, I am sleeping right now. In such a situation, Rackle goes to swim alone. But Rekel sees that Ares is not sleeping, but talking to Vera. Here, Rekel thinks that both of them are planning to romance each other. Gregory, standing next to Rackle, tells her that Ares dated his girlfriend in high school for two weeks, and he even slept with her. And then Ares dumped her. On the other hand, Anna comes to Yoshi and says that I like you, will you sleep with me? Hearing this, Yoshi loses his senses. On this, Yoshi asks, you ask every boy for sex like this? Anna says, no, I asked you because I love you. Then when everyone returns to the yacht, Rachel plays a game with everyone, where the person with the bottle's face will either tell the truth or kiss that person. Then when the bottle's mouth turns towards Anna, she kisses Yoshi without wasting any time. Because of this, Yoshi's sleeping arm and wakes up and he comes to the bathroom. But Anna also follows him to the bathroom, and here both of them become intimate. On the other hand, Artemis sees that Claudia is singing a song in front of everyone, which everyone is liking. At the same time, one of Claudia's friends kisses her in happiness. 
Seeing this, Artemis gets very angry, and he returns to his beach house. Then, when Claudia returns, he treats her very rudely. He spills the liquor and asks her to clean it. Just then, Artemis' mother arrives there. She looks at Claudia and says that you can't have red hair like me, because this will make people feel that you are a part of our family. Hearing this nonsense, Claudia says that my hair is natural, but you have colored it. Seeing his mother respond, Artemis fires Claudia from her job. Here, while playing the game at Rocco's request, Daniela asks Ares, has anyone else worn the shirt of yours besides you? On hearing this, Ares becomes uncomfortable and says that he does not remember. Then, Vera spins the bottle, giving Raquel a chance to ask questions. In such a situation, Raquel asks her directly, have you ever slept with Ares? Because you are wearing the same shirt in a photo. Neither Vera nor Ares can answer this question. In such a situation, Raquel comes into the room and starts packing her bag and hugs Yoshi and cries a lot. Then Ares comes to him to tell him everything. He says that I was bored after studying for the whole year. I didn't want to go away from you, I was alone there. Then Vera realized my problem, and she supported me a lot. But one day when I was very drunk, I accidentally slept with her. On this, Rackle says that if you were so worried, then why didn't you tell me your problem? Ares says it is always I who calls or messages you, you never do. That's why I felt that you have moved ahead in your life. Hearing him, Rackle looks at him for a moment and then walks away. Here, Artemis was also missing Claudia a lot. That's why he was watching videos of the beautiful moments spent with her. Anna comes to Yoshi there. She says, I have the key to the lighthouse. I always watch the fireworks from there. If you want, you can come with me. You will have a lot of fun there. On this, Yoshi says that I will not be able to come because I have to go to the beach party with my friends. Then Anna says that when we both were enjoying the bathroom, you took Rackle's name. I thought you took her name by mistake. By the way, how many girls' hearts have you broken for him till date? Now Yoshi says something to him, then Rekel comes there. Seeing Rakal coming, Anna leaves from there without saying anything. Rekal arrives at the party with Daniela and Yoshi. Today was the first time Yoshi was with Rakal, so he enjoys the night a lot. Then Apollo comes to the party with Artemis. Apollo walks over to Daniela, but Artemis finds the same boy there who kissed Claudia. Here, he comes to know that he has a wife who is pregnant. She was also Claudia's classmate. In such a situation, Artemis' confusion goes away, and goes to Claudia's house to apologize. To avenge her insult, Claudia asks Artemis to clean up by spilling milk on the floor. After this, Claudia throws him out of her house saying that I deserve better than you, dogs like you are not worthy of me. On the other hand, Vera tells Ares that you were definitely drunk that day, but you did not sleep with me. After hearing this, Ares comes out of his guilt. Rachel also leaves Yoshi and goes with Gregory. In such a situation, Yoshi was alone again. He realizes that he should not have been with Rocco, but with Anna. On the other hand, Vera comes so close to Ares and Rackle Gregory that they are about to kiss each other. But then Ares on one side and Rackle on the other side refuse to kiss. Now Yoshi steals a bike to go to the lighthouse from the goons who were going to be him earlier, from whom Anna saved him. Now all the goons go after Yoshi. Yoshi now wants to reach Anna at any cost, but as soon as he gets near the lighthouse, he meets with an accident, and he falls down the hill with the bike. Ares sees someone falling down the hill. In such a situation, he quickly reaches her. He gets very upset after seeing Yoshi. He tries hard to save her, but he is unable to save her. The next day, Daniela and Rekwell cry a lot at Yoshi's funeral. Rekwell gets furious after seeing Yoshi in the black suit. Because Yoshi never liked black, he never wore black. In such a situation, Ares brings him out from there. Rekwell gets angry at him too. She shouts at him and says, what is the use of you becoming a doctor, when you could not even save your friend's life? On this, Ares also angrily tells him that, if I had not been on the phone with you for the whole year, maybe I would have saved Yoshi. On this, Rackle says, does this mean that Yoshi died because of me? Ares says, yes, it was you who left Yoshi alone and went to have fun with Gregory. Hearing this, Rackle comes inside without saying anything, and she gives a very sad speech. She says that once Yoshi told me that boyfriends come and go, but friends always stay together. That's why I thought you would always be with me. Then she looks at Ares and says, I kept spending time carelessly with the wrong people who were only with me just to sleep, but those people were not mine. On hearing this, Ares leaves from there. Then Artemis holds Claudia's hand and promises to be with her forever. And Artemis' father was also watching all this. After this, everyone leaves while burning Yoshi's body. Then only Rackle and Anna live there. Rickle asks Anna out, but Anna looks at Rakel angrily, because she held Rakel responsible for Yoshi's death. In such a situation, Rackle goes out alone. Ares then returns to Stockholm to complete his studies. He is the first to throw away his shirt, which had caused such a huge uproar. Now Ares was going to focus only on his studies, but he writes a message to Rackel once to apologize, but she does not send it. Here Rackel receives a mail. 
Actually, this mail was from the publisher he had liked Rackle's novel. In fact, it was Yoshi who posed as Rackle's agent and sent her novel to the publisher without informing her. It was also written in that email that if Rackle does not respond to you, you could talk to my assistant Daniela. In it, he had given Daniela's email address. Seeing all this, both Rackle and Daniela become very emotional. Then Rackle's mother tells her that Gregory has come to meet her. On this, Rackle tells her mother to tell her that I will meet her later. Then Rackle closes her window. Actually, this was his indication that he had closed all his doors for love. And the love that started at the window stops at the window itself. A lot of time passes after this. Now, Rackle has also made a new boyfriend. One day, we see Raquel looking out the window of Ares' house again because she was missing him very much. Just then, her boyfriend Gregory comes there. He asks her if the publisher messaged. Rickle says no, maybe he might have forgotten me. After this, Rackle gets ready and comes to her work. We then see Raquel and Gregory at the publisher. The publisher praises Rackle's novel very much. The publisher tells that a big program will be organized on 31st December, where many big writers will come, and Rackle's novel will be published there. After this, we see that Rackle is working on her novel. Then she feels some movement from Ares' house, and she gets scared and falls down from the chair. Just then, a voice comes from the front asking, Are you okay? Then Rackle sees from the window that Ares was there. Ares says, I am here for Christmas vacations. Ares says, I miss you so much, and I'm so sorry for everything that happened between us. After this, Rackle closes her window. Rickle is now shown shopping with Gregory, where they meet Ares and Vera. Vera tells that she has also come here for holidays with Ares. And after this, they will get married here, and then return. Rickle feels a bit strange after hearing about Ares' marriage. We then see Ares' house being decorated for Christmas. Artemis was also here with his girlfriend Claudia. When Artemis and Claudia slept with each other, Claudia's stomach suddenly got bigger. Later, it was found out that Claudia was pregnant. Here, Claudia asks Artemis to celebrate Christmas at her house. Then we see Rakul who starts talking to Ares through messages. Just then, Gregory comes there and asks to organize a Christmas party. Then the next day, we see that a Christmas party is being held at Rackle's house. Many of Rackle and Gregory's friends come to this party, and Ares and Vera also came to this party. Seeing them, Rekel asks Gregory, why did you invite them without asking me? Gregory says, I know Ares was your ex-boyfriend, but it's time to move on. Now there's someone else who cares about you, and that's me. Now while they were enjoying the party, Gregory's sister Anna goes to Rackle's room and starts looking at her pictures. She sees that Rackle has hidden a picture of herself and Ares inside. Then Anna puts that picture outside. Then we see that Anna is consuming some intoxicating medicine. Because she was still traumatized by Yashi's death, she was unable to recover from the accident because she loved him very much. Whereas Artemis is shown at Claudia's house, who was not at all happy with Claudia. On the other hand, we see that after partying at Rackle's house, these people have just come to the bar. Everyone is having fun, but Anna is sitting at one place very silently. Then his brother Gregory comes and explains to him that accidents happen in life. You forget Yoshi and move on with your life. Anna says you can forget everything, but not me. You've got Raquel to sleep with, and how can you stay with her? Everything happened because of him. Gregory says that when Yoshi met with the accident, he was coming to meet you, it was not Raquel's fault. Next, we see that Anna drinks too much, so Gregory brings her home. Then Gregory starts reading the novel she was writing on Rackle's laptop. After reading it, Gregory's face pales and he becomes very sad. On the other hand, we see that Vera was saying miss you to someone on the phone. And Ares also hears all this. In such a situation, he understands that Vera also loves someone else. After this, we see that Gregory meets Raquel and tells her that I read your novel on the laptop. Raquel says, how did you read it without my permission? Gregory says, that is not your diary. That is your novel. Raquel says, it's all imagination. Gregory says, you can fool anyone else, but not me. And you even also deliberately left the laptop open so that I could read it. Then Gregory asks her if she still loves him. But Raquel does not answer this question and she becomes silent. Now at night, we see that Raquel wears the pendant given by Ares and opens the window of her room. Then Ares comes to his room. Rachel tells her that Gregory and I have broken up, so now we can have fun together. After this, Ares comes to his house where Artemis and his dad were sitting together. Artemis tells that today is a very special day for us because Vera's family liked our proposal. Our company was about to sink, but now everything will be fine. Shortly after this, we see Ares and Rachel together. They started spending a lot of time together and were very happy. Then Anna sees them. She comes home and tells all this to her brother Gregory. She says that I had already told you that she is not a good girl. Hearing this, Gregory hugs his sister and cries a lot. After this, Anna goes to buy something from Rackle's shop. Anna tells her that I did not know that you work here. Rickle asks her about Gregory. But without responding to Rackle's words, Anna asks her about Ares. Anna says he shouldn't use you like this. Hearing this, Rickle becomes very sad. 
Now coming out, Anna puts the toy, which she had taken from Rackle's shop in the dustbin. That's where we see Artemis. He's bought a new luxurious house for himself and Claudia. But Claudia doesn't like this house. Because there is a lot of difference between his thinking and Claudia's thinking. After this, we see that Vera and Era's entire family is having dinner. But then Artemis gets a call, and she learns that Claudia is in the hospital. Then his dad asks him what happened. Artemis says we have to go to the hospital, because Claudia is admitted. Her dad says this meeting is very important, we should not leave the meeting and go anywhere. Hearing this, Artemis says that I will be a better dad to my child than you, I will never be a bad dad like you, even a donkey is better than you. He goes to the hospital and meets Claudia's mom. Claudia's entire family had come there, but only Artemis had come from Artemis's family. Seeing this, he hugs Claudia's mother and starts crying. There we see that Vera is talking to someone on a call, but as soon as the call gets disconnected, she starts crying. Then Ares comes to him. He says, I know you like someone else. Vera says that my parents will not accept the boy I love. It would be better if we both get married happily. Ares says, I love Raquel, and we can't ruin our lives just for the sake of our parents' happiness. Whereas Raquel is shown in a bar with her friend. Then Anna also comes there and joins them. Raquel tells Anna that it was nice to see you. After this, Raquel goes to the washroom. Then Raquel receives a message from Ares on her phone. He says, I love you, Raquel. I was a coward who could not say all this to you. If you want to spend the rest of your life with me, then come, I am waiting for you. Now, Anna reads Ares' message on Raquel's phone while taking the drug. She tries to open the phone lock, but is unable to open the lock. Then Raquel comes there and Anna mixes the drug in the drink. Anna tells him that a message has come. Raquel reads the message and says that Ares' message has come, he is calling me, I have to go. Then Raquel starts drinking the drink, but Anna stops her and says, stop it, don't drink anymore. But in the joy of getting Ares, Raquel drinks the entire drink. Then Raquel tries to message Ares, but her condition has worsened so much that she is unable to send messages and falls down and becomes unconscious. There we see Ares who was waiting for Raquel. Then he gets a message from Vera. She says, parents will not agree, we have to get married and you please come to the airport. Then Ares sees Raquel's message to which there has been no reply yet. In such a situation, Ares puts all his belongings in the taxi and starts leaving. He leaves a bag outside Raquel's house. Just then, Raquel's mom comes out. Ares tells them that I did not want to disturb Raquel, this is a goodbye gift for her. Hearing this, Raquel's mom says that she thought maybe Raquel was at the door, because she went to the party last night and has not returned yet. Knowing this, Ares calls Raquel. But Raquel is in no condition to talk to him. Ares asks her the location of the party, but Raquel is unable to give him an answer. Then Ares finds out its location and asks the taxi to go in that direction. Now Raquel stands up with great difficulty and tries to get out of there. She was walking on the edge of the swimming pool, and due to not being conscious, she falls into the pool. Just then Ares arrives there. After a lot of struggle, he pulls Raquel out of the water. But in this struggle, he also becomes unconscious along with Raquel. Now after about five days, Ares regains consciousness. He asks the nurse where Raquel is, then Raquel comes there and both of them were very happy now. After this, they see Vera's photo in which she was with the boy she loves. Then at the end of the story, we see that Raquel's novel has been published, and it has been a very successful novel. Now everyone has started knowing Raquel. Then Anna comes to him and cryingly says sorry to him. Raquel also hugs him. Then she takes a novel to Yoshi, because all this was possible today because of him. Then they go to the place of Yoshi's death where they keep the book. Yoshi's name was also written on the first page of the book. Then we see the time after five years. Now Artemis and Claudia are married, and they also have a beautiful daughter. Now Ares and Raquel are also together and both are very happy. Friends, if you like my hard work, and please give your precious like to this video. I am not asking much from you, just like the video. Love you.